Hey, welcome back to The Road to Learn React. Uh, today we're going to talk about inline handler in JSX. And I was trying to make sense of this section by just reading it um, and kind of like, you know, trying to figure out what Robin is really saying. And, and it just wasn't happening. I wasn't sure exactly where he was going in this section. So I just looked at the code and I realized all he did was really... Um, make the the stories uh, that we have uh, instead of a regular constant uh, regular variable make that state based and then also be able to remove a story so when you you know when you click a button on one of the stories um, it would just remove that story from the list and that's it that's pretty much you know what he did and so let's just do that um, so let's implement the changes. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna convert this from a regular variable that is, it's combining regular and variable there. there. Um, and we're gonna make this a, um, a sta state-based uh, component. And um, so the way we're gonna do it is, let's see. So we're gonna, we're gonna move this out of the app, out of the out of the app component. Oops, I didn't grab everything there. Uh, and we're gonna move it up to the super global state right there at the top. And we're gonna change the name to initial stories. So this is gonna represent um, the initial story. So this one we haven't converted to a state yet it's just a regular variable regular constant that represents the initial stories okay um okay uh next thing is we gonna all right uh now we're actually gonna implement the state uh this the story state so for that uh right after we have our search state right here we're gonna add following okay simple right so in the app component we have two states search term and stories okay so uh, stories uses use state and then it provides it with the initial stories which which is right here right okay well, what's next well um, in order to remove uh, a story uh, we're gonna need a function that does that so let's let me see let me make sure I do this in the right order um, so how about okay let's do that when we call on list right here what if we passed it two attributes two props one is the list the actual stories and the other one is a on remove item which we will use to remove an item uh, when they click on it. You're not gonna, you don't see the details yet, but uh, you will see the whole picture here in a second. So in order for that to work, we're calling on handle remove story, which we haven't defined yet. So let's define that. So let's do it uh, right under, right here. This is where Robin put it. Okay. So uh, handle remove story is a function that filters out all the stories based on ID. So any ID that does not match uh, the item uh, that we're passing it will be filtered out. So all we have left is everything else except for this item that's being passed to it. Okay, cool. Well, you might be wondering, um, you know, where exactly is this being used? The on remove item? Well, we don't see it yet, so, but we will here in a second. All right, so let's move on. What's next? Well, uh, we need to modify list, right? The list component. Uh, so for that, we gotta go down to uh, where list is. List is right here, super short. And we are gonna replace this with the following. So, okay. Not sure why this is not okay there we go 
Okay, so this is the old way of doing it. This is the new way. Can you tell the difference? Well, in the new way, we're, we're adding one more argument, right? So here's props, just props in the original, but here we're, we're deconstructing and we, we have list and on remove items from props. Remember, this is a little bit confusing to remember all these things that we went over. I still forget all the details, but this is the same as just getting those two items from props, extracting them. And this list.map stays the same except for this part right here. This is where, so we're passing it now. We're passing on remove item to item now. So it, it was, remember, it was passed from list or from app to list and from list to item. Okay. So now we're gonna get rid of this original list component. All right, what's next? Uh, next up is, well, item needs to be modified now, right? Because we keep going further down the chain and now we reach kind of like the final destination, if you will. So we're gonna replace this with this. And you can, you can right away see what the difference is, right? You can see that this takes in two items or this deconstructs one item. This deconstructs two items from props. <gasps> Get rid of this. Okay, that's it. Uh, what? Well, what else? Uh, last, lastly, um, the very last uh, part of item. So in item, we're showing the author, number of comments, points, whatever, a bunch of information regarding each item um, and but we want to add a button that allows us to remove this particular item and calls on on remove item. So span element button on click run this on click as this function on remove item item. Look, this part is very confusing to me and I ran into problems like how exactly to 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 define this on click I've tried it in the past where I did something like this and there was an issue there. I don't know what what the reason was, but so you have to be careful here on how you call a function and, and maybe in the book, we'll go over it in the book on why this has to be the way it is. Uh, and maybe I, I missed it in this section. I'll review it again and make sure that uh, in case Robin did talk about this, uh, I'll mention it in the next video. Uh, but okay, cool. And he calls it dismiss or let's just call it remove. Um, and that's it. So let's see if we got it right. So let's start our app. I think it's probably going to pull it up on my other screen. Yep. Uh, let me move it over here. And there it is, right? React Redux. Look, you can remove it just like that. But if we refresh, it goes back to initial state. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's all I uh, have for this section. Uh, a little bit, you know, at times it's kind of tough to make sense of things. So you just have to like look at the code, see what he changed. I feel like that's the better approach and then go back to the text and, and see what Robin uh, said about uh, the changes. All right, guys, take care. Bye.